Let's learn today how we can start creating diagrams and flowcharts in our chat GBT chats. Using this GBT, we're going to be able to do a ton of stuff, such as edit the flows that we create in Miro, even go as far as editing it with code. And on top of that, being able to actually download the flowcharts, export them and utilize them wherever we want. Let's jump in. Welcome back, y'all. In today's video, we're checking out a pretty cool GPT that I found in the store. It's trending. And it basically allows us to create and export diagrams and flowcharts. We've done this stuff in the past with plugins. This one seems to be a lot improved based off what we saw in the past. On top of that, this is the Twitter. Check it out in the description down below. Hit the link. Hit follow. Let's see what we can do with this plugin today. Or GBT. <laughs> so I'm not sure when you're watching this video. But if you don't see it right here for featured, you can go ahead and just type in diagram show me. And from here, we can go ahead and just click. Once we click, this is parts or this is completely free. Obviously, we need to pay 20 bucks to get Chad GBT plus, but the actual value we receive from this is free. So let's go ahead and see all the possibilities we can do with this in a lot of context. So right off the bat, as you see here, we can create flow charts, mind maps, architecture, visualization, diagrams, schemas, so much more. We're going to see everything we can do here. We can export, edit them. First one, we're going to start with something very simple here. We're going to say, can you create a sequence diagram for an online shopping checkout process? So the way we want to kind of proctor and talk to this GBT is basically identify the type of flow chart or diagram, and then basically what's the value we want to associate with that. So in this context, secrets diagram, and then online shopping. As you see here, because of the fact we're accessing, accessing external data, or in this context, API, it's going to ask this question every single time. But in order to ensure this prompt doesn't always come up, I'm just going to hit always allow. Let's see what we come up with. And here we go. So we should get a preview in the chat itself which is nice we also get a bunch of different options here so the first option is going to be seeing it in full screen so basically just like opening the image in a whole new tab the second option is we're going to actually be able to download it the third option is typically the one we can do with milo but obviously this is beta so it seems like it didn't generate that link and the last option is editing with code let's see if we can actually generate that link real quick there you go if a link doesn't show up you can simply just put in the name i misspelled it as well and even knew what i was talking about and hit edit with Miro, and we have our chart here pretty nice for this specific one this comes to a shopping checkout process we can structure this different differently depending on our context we got customer and then selects item as to cart and proceeds in that matter this one is a little confusing i will say but this is basically because of the fact that we requested it in a sequence diagram we could request it in different types of flow charts as you'll see here so to do so let's go ahead and try a different style here we're going to say can you depict a timeline of the major events leading up to the launch of a new product hit enter here this time i don't actually have to say allow it will know because i said always allow and get going because of the fact i didn't add additional context you'll notice that it kind of just fills in the data that you would expect it to fill in so I didn't give like the time dates or what the product is, the R and D marketing production and launch with the associated quote unquote, supposed times. And then the market research product concept, prototype marketing strategy, promotional materials. I'm curious though, let me go ahead and see if we can do something as simple as this, or we can change the timeline. Okay, great. Can we make it? So the year starts in 2025. Instead of me needing to maybe edit in my row or edit with code, let's see if we can kind of conversate with it and change our underlying you know, output in this manner. And it can, this is actually pretty cool y'all. So first two things we just learned right now. First thing we learned is that we actually don't need to go to my row to keep editing it. We can actually understand now that it references previous outputs for context for future outputs. Notice how I didn't necessarily you know, proctor again the timeline. I just said, can we just add it 2025? That's super cool. Second thing we learned is that basically if we add more context to our initial inquiries, it probably will be able to generate that really streamlining and helping us on time. Last thing I want to point out is that if you're running into issues when using GBTs like this and like the outputs and the quality is like deteriorating, you probably should just start a new chat. So simply come up here, hit this and start again. As sometimes when you go down little rabbit holes with these GBTs, the quality and output can either get really good or really bad depending on, you know, what it's using as context before for example if i started the conversation talking about can you give me a chart for do dog breeds and then you know five chats later i'm talking about can you give me the structure of a software app you know these are completely two different topics so it could get very confusing for the gbt itself that being said let's try another example here okay we're gonna go ahead and say generate a mind map to brainstorm potential features of a new mobile app i could add more context here which would probably help with the output but for now we're gonna do this here we go, a new style here. We got a mind map and holy smokes, that is a lot of stuff. <laughs> so as you see here, I could download it and we can edit Myros, jump over here. And this is kind of what I was talking about earlier where 
maybe you want to stay in the chat, keep proctoring the chat. But in theory, you could come here and just start messing around with it. Um, ex accessibility features, you could say brain features, you know, basically whatever we want. So in a way, this is a good way to get like a skeleton, right? I think that's a lot of context for a lot of AI tools right now is it gives us the skeleton and then it kind of wants us to proceed past it. But a lot of times like going through the process of structuring something out like this takes time. And maybe you have the ideas and you just need a structure like this and it's fast. And some of them you actually like, and some of them you're like, no, this is off base. It's still a great way to save time in that context. We have a good idea of how to start leveraging this GPT now. If you want to play around with it yourself, go ahead and try these different type of inquiries. Sequence map, mind map, graph, timeline. These are going to give you different styles of charts you can start downloading, using, leveraging elsewhere in your personal or business life. So this is what we talk about when we say we have created value for the GPT store. This is a pretty useful tool. I'd say this is not just a reskin or a wrapper of the OpenAI API. This is actually pretty useful. So I encourage you to check it out. I'll leave the link to it down in the description down below. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like. It's completely free. I'll also be leaving a playlist at the end here showing how to start leveraging GPTs in the context of other GPTs. Also how to create them, create your build a profile, custom actions, everything of that nature. So you can kind of jump into this GPT store. We actually aren't aware of the revenue share yet or how the revenue model works. I was placed as number nine in programming for the GPT I created. So I'll basically be completely transparent and let you know how much I made. So make sure to subscribe to learn about that. Without further ado, y'all, I'll see you in the next video. There we go. That is the GBT playlist I was talking about. That video, we don't know what it is. But supposedly, based off the analytics of YouTube, you would like that video. And then that button right there, something might happen when you click it. We don't know yet.